what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of not launching or not starting issue you're currently having with metro exodus this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix every kind of issue related to that or um especially this issue i've been having that a lot and i fixed it with some steps that could help so um yeah feel free to stick to the end so the first thing i want you to do if you have any kind of um, not launching or starting issues with your game uh, is going to be to take your uh, launcher shortcut on your desktop if you have one so for me it's steam i'm going to take steam i'm going to drag it uh, right into the middle of your monitor i want you to uh, take your mouse or obviously take your mouse i'm going to right click it so once you've right clicked it um I want you to go down to the very bottom where it says uh, properties. But before you can do that, you can try to click on to run it as an, as an administrator. This will start your launcher over the administrator mode. And I want you to basically try if you're, uh, if you're launching your game through the launcher in administrator mode, if it works. So other thing, go back to the properties tab, click under that. This tab will pop up. I want you to click onto compatibility. So click on that one. As you can see, I have a lot of settings and I want you to basically copy my settings. So uh, you're gonna enable run this program compatibility mode forward, select Windows 8, disable reduce color mode, disable run this uh, run in 640 by 480, disable uh, full screen optimizations, enable run this program as an administrator and disable register this program for restart. Afterwards, I want you to click apply and okay. So I already did that, so I can do that. I want you afterwards to restore your PC and then you will see this little um, administrator symbol right onto your launcher shortcut. And uh, what it will do is like you will store it every time you're starting your launcher, it will start in administrator mode. And this will help you a lot with every kind of issue currently having, especially if not launching issues. And you will start your game over the launcher and this will probably fix it. If it doesn't, you're going to take your in-game shortcut on your desktop if you have one and do the same thing to it. So uh, right click run as an administrator or properties, compatibility, copy the settings, do the same thing again. So the next thing I want you to do is going to be to uh, navigate to the bottom of your screen where you can see your taskbar. Perhaps you have it here, I don't know. Uh, I put it at the bottom, so you're going to right click it. And uh, you can see there's task manager, I want you to click on that. Wait a little bit until it opens up. And now what I want you to do for the first thing is going to be to, to navigate to the top left corner of your screen where you're going to click on to um, details. Once you're the details, you're going to search for uh, your game or your launcher, especially the launcher. I haven't running it right now, but it doesn't really matter. So you're going to take do the same thing, which I'm doing to Creative Cloud. So you're going to right click it. And um, once you right click it, you're going to go to set priority and hover over it. And now you need to click on above normal or high and you need to check for yourself which one is working better for you doesn't really it just depends on which pc you're on so uh try buff normal try high and uh, try to start your game uh, afterwards and if it works perfect uh next thing you can do is going to be to click into stored up what i want you to do at stored up is really simple so again top left corner click into uh stored up yeah, as you can see i have a lot of lot of applications disabled just because my pc isn't the best it's a low-end pc so it's old um, it tends to have low FPS, low, um, it's like a lot crashing, a lot not launching. And you want to uh, have less applications running in the background, obviously, because it takes a lot of GPU, CPU usage. So what I want you to do is going to be to disable every single program, which you're not wanting to store it uh, in the background when you start your PC. So basically everything besides Windows things or Apple things. Um, so you're going to uh, right click something which is enabled and you're going to disable it simply like that. Next thing you want to do is going to be to click into processes. Again, top left corner, click into processes. And now as you can see, there are two things. First, applications and background processes. And now there's CPU and GPU. What I want you to do is here is really simple. I want you to click on the GPU at first. And now you're seeing which program is currently having the most usage of your GPU. And what I want you to do here is going to be to end every single process which is currently having too much CPU or GPU usage, especially now it's GPU. So you're going to right click uh, that program, which is not related to Windows, obviously. And you're going to uh, basically end this task by clicking on to end task. Next thing is going to be to click on to CPU and do the same thing again. So search for programs which are currently having too much CPU usage. You're going to right click and end this task.
So uh, once you're finished here, I want you to basically end the task manager again. Afterwards, you're going to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're going to click onto um, your Windows symbol or click your Windows key on your keyboard. You're going to open up your settings. Afterwards, I want you to um, basically go to gaming. Once you're at gaming, I want you to turn off the Xbox game bar. Obviously, because you don't want anything to run in the background, especially the Xbox game bar. On low end PCs will cause a lot of troubles with not launching, not storing and general troubles. So just keep in mind to turn this off and obviously Xbox game bar using um, this button on a controller. If you're using a controller, it doesn't really matter, but just turn it off. So afterwards, click into captures on the left side. This will take a bit. So I want you to go to background recording. Once you're background recording, uh, I want you to go to record the background while I'm playing a game and obviously turn this off. If you want to record your game, it's no problem with it. Just use uh, the right software for that. I'm using OBS for everything, not Windows. Who the Hmm. wants to um record with windows so nobody don't use that um just turn this off because nobody wants to record in the background so it will take a lot of performance and it will cause your game to not launch and afterwards also obviously not recording audio go to game mode and now it depends on which pc you're using and you need to check it for yourself so some pcs it works better with arm and some pcs which um yeah it works better with off so I want you to uh, check it for yourself. Once you're finished with that, uh, go back once. I want you to click on to opt in security. Here, um, it will sound a little bit basic, but trust me guys, it will help you a ton with everything. I want you to simply update every single driver on your PC, which is not updated. You're, you, you're not having the latest version of it. Because, I mean, it's obvious that if you're updating your drivers, it will Keep your performance at the best, especially in low-end PCs. If you have trouble with not launching, it's probably because you have a low-end PC or something is not working in the background. So just keep in mind that you want to keep your Windows updated and every single driver. So for me, as you can see, I need to restart. I need to uh, do an update. I will do that after the video. So just do that. Um, same thing. So you can minimize and do this for your um, graphics card. For me, it's NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA GeForce or your graphics card application and download the latest version of your driver because some games acquire the latest version of your drivers and this will be the reason why you're not launching. So just keep in mind that you want to have always the latest version of every single driver you're currently having on your PC related to gaming or to uh, functional things in general. Uh, go back once, hit um, system. Now you can see you're uh, gonna be at display. What I want you to do is display if you have two monitors like me, one day and one day, uh, I want you to uh, identify which your main monitor is, which one you're uh, playing a game on. For me, it's one. If you don't have one, it's obviously you have one monitor. Go to uh, scale and layout, where I want you to change the size of text apps and other items to 100% as recommended. And uh, the display resolution should be the same as in-game, especially if you have in like in-game uh, something like stretched or, I don't know, 1720 by 1070. You need to keep that updated with your monitor's resolution or your in-game resolution should be the same as your monitors because I mean it's obvious that something which uh, won't work if you have this on so keep in mind that you want to do that. Uh, next thing is going to be to go to power and sleep. What I want you to do is po uh, power and sleep is really simple. I want you to basically go to the right hand side where it says additional power settings. Now uh, you need to go to click on this little check mark also. You have now six options. Uh, for me it's working best at balance. Uh, some PCs work better at high performance or something with additional power plant settings. Uh, you need to check it for yourself, which is which one is currently working better. Take your time and uh, afterwards choose which is working the best. So once you finish with that, close this one, go to storage, click on to configure storage that sends or run it now. Now you need to uh, just simply copy my settings, keep this on every week, 40 days, 60 days. I won't clean that now because it will take a lot of time, but it will basically delete every single temporary file you're currently having uh, on your PC, which will free up some storage, which will help you a lot with your general performance. So um, once you're finished with that, you're going to end this task. And what I want you to do, obviously, restart your PC after all these things happen um, and restart it, try to launch your game over the launcher or off on your shortcut. And yeah, guys, that's it. I hope I could really help you out with this video. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It will really help me out.